Folks, welcome back to the shop. Winter in Wisconsin. Uh, we made it through harvest. Mm, 4630. The transmission job that stayed all together. Uh, the only issue all fall was thermostats. In the 9570 went it started running cold one of them was chunked into three pieces and oh joyride started getting hot one day uh, spun the impeller loose on the water pump pulled it apart tightened it up uh, an hour and a half of downtime so that was pretty exciting um, in case any of you were following along with the farm side of things that we're at here, we made it. Toasty Warm back in the shop here. We're going to talk today about unibilts and big holing. The room that you can gain in doing that. And is it worthwhile? Because I haven't seen a lot of true side-by-side -side comparison videos. And we have a rare opportunity here with what we've got right now to have the, the best opportunity to do that. <clears throat> because we have two 359s in our ownership currently. And one is big hold and one is not. Now this is about the fairest comparison I think we're ever going to be able to get. Pretty excited about that. And these are, this is a 1978, the BC build. First year of the dash of class. Often and inappropriately referred to as the Corvette dash. That, that, that'll upset some people. And this is an 81 couple years into it they're both 240 inch wheelbase trucks which i think is a neat and interesting comparison because joyride uh, being a standard cab so that's 119 inch bumper to back of cab measurement on a 359 that is not a short hood there's one shorter And we got 135 gallon tanks on it. Just enough room for, you know, uh, an aging man step. And then in the BC build, although it appears longer, it is not. 36 inch flat top. Uh, these are, I think, 75 gallon tanks. So it gives us that nice appearance of a long truck without actually being a long truck, which I like. You know, since we talked last, I think, and it's it's already filthy, we got the, fl the flush mount deck plate that we made and painted, put in. Uh, this thing drives now, that's pretty exciting. It is on a road near you. Except, 
this window <laughs> i haven't figured out the tracking to put the glass back in it yet and peterbilt thinks that you should buy the whole window for 700 and some dollars and we're just not going to do that <clears throat> Now we take a minute, uh, take a peek here at the two trucks. Both of them have Bostrom Pro Rides, uh, low suspension, low mid back Pro Ride seats in them. So this is the fairest, even, most even comparison that I can come up with. Same dash, they both have a straight column in them. This one's the optional chrome column which is pretty cool. Uh, Joyride has a standard column. And I myself am the specimen of average at 5'11 and a half, uh, depending upon what time of the day it is, I guess. So we'll see, you know, for comparison purposes, how I fit in to the truck. I'm going to do this part once because they are the same. The seat at its height to the top of the cushion is 17, fully up, uh, 15 to the front. And you set it on the floor and it's uh, 11 in the front and 13 on the side. They are a very, very low profile seat. And the cab, uh, cab front wall to the back wall is 50 inches, five zero. Five eleven and a half, six foot. Seat down eleven inches. I'm doubled over. I cannot get flat to get up on the clutch. Actually, to touch the clutch, your knee touches the wheel. I cannot see any of the hood. Arms aren't too bad. Not that I drive like this. That's strictly for demonstration purposes all the way up i can get close to level and of course it's not a flat floor truck so your feet are kind of doubled back a little bit and the distance from the steering wheel to the back wall of the cab is 23 inches seats all the way back uh, rubbing, rubbing the wall a wee bit here. As you can see, we got a mess, but we got mostly interior in here. So this is what the 359 body looks like with 379 unibuilt rings in it. You can see they go out pretty much to the edge. This allows us to move the seats back and in this case out a 359 that does make that issue more uh, you move the seat out getting more room in between them to go back into the bunk it does make the seat less centered with the steering wheel but a 359 the seat will not be in line with the steering wheel anyway now how much did we gain So on the Unibuilt truck, 
from the cab front wall to the front of the bed is 58 inches. So it actually, it gains, that's the first time I've ever measured it. It gains more than I thought it would. I thought it was only a three or four inch gain. It's what, uh, eight? Eight? Now, starting on the floor with it all the way down, I still can't see the hood. Arms are about full extension. Also a sloped floor, like all 359s would be, uh, unless they're cut up. My leg, it's not quite level, but it's a good distance from the steering wheel. I can get up on there fairly comfortably. You know, it, not sprawled out, but close. If we go all the way up, obviously my sight line to the hood is going to be about the same. But I can actually sit legs up or stretch out and be a tooth above 90 degrees. My, my leg is below 90 degrees. Or even, you know, where I would normally ride. It'll be halfway up or so. And with the, with the exception, the, the accelerator pedal being at a greater angle, it's, it's, I, I feel it's mission accomplished. It's like a, a feel of a modern truck, which was really the whole purpose of the entire build. It's still pretty narrow. You're not gonna, don't have a lot of room that way, but by moving the seats out, for one, it gives you more room to the armrest, but there's enough room to get back through here to the bunk. Uh, with them forward like that, if you put an aftermarket seat, even a narrow one like a Pro Ride, it's a little tight, uh, depending, of course, how big a person you are. So there it is. We're, get, we're getting there. It's uh, drivable. I've driven it. Not not quite ready to haul yet, but we're uh, we're getting there. Let me know if I missed any other measurements or things that you wanted checked over, or things we should look at in the comparison of a 359 and a Unibuilt. I never, like I said, I've never seen somebody set two of them side by side and putting the same person in each of them. This is close we're gonna get. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.